Hi, this is Dan Zimmerman. No, this is not an ISIS beheading video. Hopefully not. This is a guitar video. I'm coming out with um, with an album um, on March 14th called Earth Tones. So for all you musicians out there, what I thought I would do before it comes out is just take a section of each song. I'll play the album version for you. And then I'll go over how I wrote it. Um, just aspects of it because otherwise it'd be a really long video. Um, um, so um, this one's Hope. So here's the A section. I'll play it for you from the album and then I'll talk about it. See, what, what I'm hoping is I can get more musicians to write music, because um, I think that's a great thing to do. And the world needs more original music. So, um, um, what, um, um, the way it came out is I was just sitting around playing one day. That's how all my songs start, is they start with something I'm really inspired with, and I happened to play this. And, um, when you play something that strikes you, um, then you take notice and you say, oh wow, I'm gonna make something from that. So I'm kind of trying to reconstruct what happened. Then, um, then since I write, so I said, I'm gonna write something with that. And then since I write melodically, um, I needed a melody. And I forget how it came out, but I think I, I, I think I probably sang this. And that was the first phrase of the melody. Um, and then I harmonized it first with, with double stops, with um, intervals like this. I'm sorry, I went sixth. And then I needed another phrase. And when you write, you want the neck, you want everything to follow each other like a story. So the next phrase was kind of a backwards version of that first phrase. So that whole part was inspired by me hearing this, then thinking of a melody. backwards for the next phrase and then there's one last part of the melody um, that was the first half of the melody and then then the last part of the melody um, at that time I remember I was really into um, to like asymmetrical phrases which actually I heard from a from a um, Foo Fighters song on the radio called I think it's called all my life all my life I've been looking for something. You know that one, and, and he sings a phrase, I think in the first verse, and then he repeats the last line. And I thought that was so cool, because like, because then it doesn't sound so blocky. Like, like he, he does a phrase, and then he repeats the last part of the phrase. Um, so, um, so, so in the last part of the melody, I go, the whole melody second half of the melody
him to there. So, um, and then the one more aspect also, um, I love the sound of parallel um, in intervals, which which mean you're not um, you're not changing the interval based on the key you're in. You're just keeping the interval the same. So, in this case, fourths. So, um, I started playing the the melody just with harmonized with fourths. Watch this sound. Not like that. Like this. I just I'm really like that because I love that sound. So um, the main thing I want you to get from this is that a song can start by just, you just play one thing and get really inspired. And you feel something and you say, wow, I wanna, um, I wanna write something with that. And then you think as a listener what you love um, to, to hear. And I like melodies and I like um, parallel intervals and I like you know, odd phrases, um, and um, and that inspiration for, for what you like comes from a lot of things, from any style of music, and then you just run with it. So, um, so that's hope. Next video, I'll probably talk about the solo section to hope, and, um, and how you can um, make a solo section to a song that's just not a carbon copy of like playing over the same chord changes as the song. Okay, thanks. <laughs>